the Sunday statement draft, which asterisk can include anyone who played in week three. What stood out to you, Devin? First and foremost, I got to start off with Aaron Rodgers. I was there in the building, uh, MetLife Stadium. I was calling a game on the radio and Aaron Rodgers, it was old school clinic tape. After you said it, Mel Kuyper talked about cover two being gone. Aaron Rodgers showed us what good quarterback play looks like. And it doesn't matter what coverage you ran because he was cooking. Uh, it was fun to watch. It was Aaron Rodgers old school back in his element. That 22-yard laser he threw down the middle to Tyler Conklin. When he threw that, it's like, this guy's back. He's back yeah. and he's ready to go. Uh, the Jets love Aaron Rodgers, as we established earlier in the show. They didn't like Sam Darnold. Everybody else does. <laughs> Four touchdown passes and no picks for the first time in his career. Avoided the injury. Ready to go. Vikings are somehow 3-0, and and Darnold is the straw that's stirring that drink. Second, second guy, because you're right, Sam Darnold. Keep keep doing what you're doing. But second guy, King Henry, Derrick Henry, talked about possibly going and wanting to play for the Cowboys. Supposedly they couldn't afford him. 25 carries, 151 yards, and two touchdowns. He put a statement, you should have paid me my money and things will look different. You wouldn't be getting killed. I'd be running for you. Well, and I said this yesterday on PFT Live, and I wrote something about it later. Jerry Jones' claim that they couldn't afford Derrick Henry is a lie. They could have. They chose not to. $5.1 million cap charge for this year. You can find $5 million in cap space anywhere if you really want to do it. They just decided not to do it, and they had to deal with it on Sunday. Saquon Barkley, 147 rushing yards on 17 carries, and that 65-yard run when it was 3-0, he told Jason Garrett after the game he was motivated by the, the dirty hit. And I'm sorry, Dennis Allen, it was dirty. Guy dives on Devontae Smith when his helmet's off. That was dirty. The Eagles were pissed, and that's what sparked the 65-yard run. Saquon Barkley responsible directly for the Eagles winning that game in New Orleans, a much-needed win for Philadelphia. One more round for the Sunday statement, asterisk, Thursday, Sunday, or Monday statement. Devin, who do you have? I'm going Sunday night football, Rashi Rice, 10 catches, 100, 100 yards, a touchdown. It might be safe to say he is Patrick Mahomes' new favorite target he's been delivering all season so far for them. All right, I'm going to break the rules here, and I'm going to put two, because they're already <laughs> joined together by their time at LSU and by the bet that they made and then canceled – over which guy's going to be the offensive rookie of the year for $10,000. That definitely isn't a bet anymore. Malik Neighbors and Jaden Daniels. Neighbors, spectacular for the Giants on Sunday. And for all the things they do wrong, the one thing they do right, Devin, they throw him the football all throw the time. Ball a lot. <laughs> and then Jaden Daniels on Monday night. Hi, it's Mike Florio. Thanks for watching PFT on YouTube. Hit subscribe for the latest news and analysis from Pro Football Talk.